I'm recording this on release day, so hopefully all of you guys are getting an opportunity to try out Expeditions Rome, and I hope you guys are enjoying it. Or maybe you're just going to watch along with me, and I appreciate that. Uh, so we're going to rendezvous with Thermos's Legion, which is way over here. I wonder... I wonder if I can go back. Yeah, I, I should go back to the campsite and see if I can craft some stuff. Is there anything else cool to check out? Can I use... Oh, right. I can use Alt to see the stuff that I can interact with on the map, too. And if I zoom out... Ooh, this is going to be a big area. <laughs> oh, that's cool. All right. Let's, uh... Let me just see if I click on this. Still trying to figure out how this all works. The beach. Oh, is there like different events as you're walking along? Marching along the coast has its advantages, not the least of which uh, being the discovery of the numerous coves of the Argeum Mare. Ar Ar Argeum Mare. Many of those coves seem to have their own secret beaches, and just like this one, they are well protected and secure. Rest and go for a swim. Bit of fishing. Maybe maybe our character could be into fishing. I like that idea. Let's uh let's try a bit of fishing. You and your Praetorians take the time to catch some fish. The cove proves to be bountiful. You have no idea what kind of fish you managed to catch, but it is fat and delicious. Did we get some food for that? I didn't I didn't notice. Oh cool! This game keeps uh, keeps surprising me with with different different things that are going on. Oh, I see. We're not actually going across. The icon was just above here. It just looked like it was on this other island. OK. Colone. Visit the Legion camp to trade, recruit new Praetorians or Centurions. The one thing I'm curious to see is if we can just recruit, uh, like, generic Praetorians. Develop new battle stratagems or talk to your companions. All right, let's, uh, let's chat with some people. And hold on, did I get some new stuff? The Mrs. Legion is marching on Matilin. Now that you have burned the pirate fleet, you are ordered to join up with the Legion and participate in the siege. Oh yeah, there, I heard that there's sieges too, which sounds really cool. So what's the other thing? Party management, inventory, just some new equipment that we got, I guess. Oh, I, I think I want to... Uh, I think maybe I want to uh, keep one hand uh, bare for Cineros because I think he can heal if I do that. So maybe I should equip a Gladius. Signing item skills. Some weapons or uh, weapon combinations offer more skills than it is possible to assign. Wish to assign a new skill, drag it into one of your slots. Any skill already assigned to that slot will be replaced. Ah, see, there we go. Aid. Unarmed skill. If used on a fellow Praetorian who is incapacitated, they will stop bleeding out. Provokes attack of opportunity. Distracting blow. Prevents the uh, target from making an attack of opportunity until their next turn. Overpower. Deals maximum damage but cannot make a critical hit. Let's open skill selection. Soothe pain. So 25% health to the target. I'm just kind of surprised they didn't just make him uh one-handed because he's a healer from the beginning because it was kind of i was kind of confused about how he actually did healing defensive strike applies deflecting to self so we need to we need to we could equip this oh must be wielding a uh, sword and shield that goes with this weapon we only have three skills so i think i want soothe pain instead of distracting blow 25% health. Okay. That's cool. Also, I guess this armor... 
Oh, right. It lowers his movement. Bestia has a uh, Doru 1 that can be equipped. Four to six piercing damage, one focus, minus two health. Uh, so it... So this one does... Oh, I see. It gives both of these skills, right? And this one gives... Oh, I need to do a comparison. So it just... It's it's similar. It doesn't do the... Um... So it does lacerate. Bleeding, which actually works well with uh, some of our other characters, right? But it doesn't have piercing thrust. Excess damage dealt to shield strength over full of the target cell. Okay. Okay. And, oh yeah, it does have thrust. So what's the other one? So the other one does applied bleeding. I'm, I'm going to equip this just so it does more damage. Makes sense. I like that it's, it shows you like which ones are better just by a glance. In terms of damage at least. And then you can look at it a little bit more closely to see if you actually want to equip it. Okay. Something on your mind, kid? Um, something isn't quite right about that Calidus. Isn't he too young to be a soldier? In my experience, it's not age that determines the proficiency of a warrior. What does then? Character, intelligence, and the sheer will to survive amongst other things. Look, I have met warriors like uh, him. Things may not always be what they seem. Wait until you pass judgment. Those ships really did go up fast. I was surprised too. I was told Greek oak is both fire and waterproof, but they burnt easily enough. I wonder what they're thinking now their fleet is gone. Because we had Greek fire. Hmm. I guess they have now realized their ships can be burnt. Every problem has a solution. That's what Warcraft is all about. That, is that a reference to the game? <laughs> That's what Warcraft 1, 2, and 3, and World of Warcraft are all about. And the movie. Do you think we will win at uh, Mytilene? No doubt. A battle is first won in your mind, kid. If you think you're going to lose, then you certainly will. Let us talk later. Uh, let's see what these two are up to. Dominate. Would you trust this Calidus? He's a speculator. It would be foolish to trust a soldier whose primary weapon is deception. You're advising me to kick him out of the group. The consul wants him with us. As I said, deception is a weapon, and Calidus seems to wield that weapon expertly. I'd see him as an asset. The five of us have destroyed an entire fleet. Hmm. How do you feel about it? Ah. Uh, I will never forget the smell of burning wood. It will remind me of my first true victory. Smells can conjure intoxicating memories. The taste of failure can be equally difficult to forget, though. It will taste bitter. I never fail. This will be my first proper battle. Are you nervous? Hmm. Of course I am. It is difficult not to be nervous. Understandable. Every warrior is nervous on the day of the battle. It is perfectly fine, as long as you can still be in control when you draw your blade. Yeah, you can actually harness that nervousness uh, to, to good effect if you get used to... Uh, if you get, if you, like, if you get used to it. Of course, I, I have issues with nervousness a lot. <laughs> so, it's good advice, but hard to follow. What do you need? What do you think of Calidus? He has skill. You can tell by the way he handles the bow and the blade. I thought, I thought Calidus was a lady, but no. Am I thinking of, of someone different? He's hiding something. Um... Yeah, we could definitely tell he's hiding something. He is a spy, is he not? 
That is his business. The enemy fleet is in ruins. The flames lit the skies in a glorious display of celebration and sent fear to the hearts of our enemies. They must be trembling now. Maybe they haven't seen it. Then those who have seen it will tell the tale. Haha. <laughs> and in dreams, everything is larger. We're marching towards our first battle. You must be excited. I am not. I have seen these bandits. They are worthless as opponents. <laughs> it will not be a boring day, for we will be fighting, but exciting. Hmm, I doubt that. See you on the field of battle. So wait a second. I thought, oh, that's what they're hiding, probably. Okay. I just, right away, I figured, uh... At your service. Calidus was was a woman, but apparently, I guess I guess they're hiding that they're a woman. Maybe. Welcome back, little one. It warms my black heart to see you alive. I hope this also means you have denarii to spend. Let me see what you have to offer today. Oh right. So I have to go back to the other camp to talk to the blacksmith. This is the trader. Abundant. Scarce. So I could sell some medicine. Uh. So I'm trying to think. Yeah. I would want to get sell it right for denarii because it's it's uh. It's abundant, so we should get more, and then we can then we can buy stuff later on. I don't know what a good amount to have is. One to twenty. They'll sell fifty. They have two thousand. They should just sell a hundred. Yeah. And then we can buy it back later if we want to. We could buy like some slaves rations I don't know yet still figuring out the game where is our our spy Julius that's close enough what do you want tell me a bit about yourself why hmm because your Primus just asked you. Then you've learned something about me already. I'm not exactly known for my obedience. No offense, but information is the most dangerous thing in my line of work. The less you know about me, the better it is for both of us. Hmm. How long have you been working for the Consul? A few seasons. Lucullus has a knack for recognizing talent. He immediately saw me for what I was. And what would that be? <laughs> We're just going to keep trying. A killer. Uh, are you looking forward to returning home after all this? I am not. Rome is a place of stasis and passivity. Here, I feel alive. Aegea Mar is beautiful indeed. Sure, as long as I'm not in Rome. Armadi. Tell me about the Speculatoris. How does your role differ from the usual legionary? Imagine a door that is locked. And imagine you need to open that locked door, preferably discreetly. But someone else has the key. Now, you can always smash the door into pieces with a great hammer. Let me guess, the Legion is the hammer and the Speculatoris represent a lockpick. Sure, that works too. Or we find out whoever's holding the key and kill him. You sound young, Julius. Uh, how old are you really? Why? Are you going to remember my birthday? I just want to know if I'll be responsible for a child. Some Legionari may be younger than you'd think, but Legionari. Assured, I'm not a child. <laughs> I'm never going to remember how to pronounce these names. Over time, I'll probably pick them up. But for now, you guys are going to have to bear with me. I'll see you later. Wait, I got another spikes. Okay. 
Exclamation marks always bother me in games. I don't know about you guys, but... Like, I... Way, I just can't, like, abide them. <laughs> I've got it. I, 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 I have to, like, click on them. Get rid of them, you know? Uh, so we've got Gaius and Marcus here. Solway. Oh, talk later. The smoke of the fires still hang as a thick carpet above Matilene. I am impressed with your ability to cause mayhem. Okay. I always get things done. You should get used to it. A bold claim. I wonder if you are ready to prove it. <laughs> I'm definitely not humble. I'm eager to display my skill, Legate. I like the enthusiasm. Or Legate. Lucullus has told me much about your upbringing and your training, but war is much different than personal combat. Before we leave, go to the practice area and seek out Garwius, who trains the Speculatoris. He will teach you a few last important things. Talk to Gawius tutor in the training area. Can do that. All is well, I hope. Keep running into that guy. I wonder if he's going to teach us about healing. Salway, did Thermos send you my way? You have the bearing of a man who knows how to handle himself. You are a speculator. I used to be. Now I train the speculatores. It's how I came by my cognomen. I was told you may have a few last things to teach me. You know how to fight, but you've never been to war, have you? Well, the Legion is marching out soon, so we don't have time for the full regiment anyway. Let me show you how to use a pelum, and maybe how to bandage a wound, if it comes to that. Call over your friends, and we'll get started. Pelum is uh, like a spear, right? Win the practice fight. Okay, what are we up against? Heavy... Militia. Light. A couple of arch or one archer and then support with spears. Okay, let's put you. Actually, do I really need to move anyone? Actually, yeah, let's put the archer here. Back a bit. Around the side. Okay. I don't really have to think too hard about this. Aim that pelum for my shield. The tip is designed to break off and stick in the shield, making it difficult to use. Tactical items. Gawius has given you some pila and a bandage. He also gave a second bandage to Cineros. Items such as the pila and bandages show up in these two slots to the right of your skills. Using a tactical item doesn't spend your action. Oh, okay, good. You could use an item and still attack in the same turn. Tactical items have limited uses that are not replenished automatically after combat. You must return to camp to replenish your tactical items at your tent once they are spent. Spoiler, you will get a tent later. <laughs> Wait, where's my pillow? Ah, there it is. Okay. So I'm supposed to throw it. At the shield. Cannot see target. Okay. Seven shield damage, 100% chance of success. Shield broken. Very cool. So let's go with... Um, I'll move up a, a bit more. I didn't use an action. Character will not rotate when attacked. How do I... Um, I wonder how like I hunker down pointing that way. I 
Ah, we get to select the direction. I wonder if I can be attacked through this, like with a melee attack. Cool. No special skills. They can move three. So let's move up. And we'll do brace. And I want to try to shoot. No, they're in cover. Barbed arrow aimed shot. Interrupt. We're not going to kill anyone this time, so. Oh, this is a really. I should have stayed here with the archer. Let's do this and we'll do interrupt. And we're going to move up the side. Four. One, two, three, four. Let's move to here. We'll wait. And you'll provide cover. Or uh, provide support. We'll do logistics. Let's Someone help me! Alright, I got you. Woo! Wait, did he just uh, provide aid to that guy? No longer incapacitated. Yeah, okay. Ooh, that was uh, pretty cool. Locked it again. Resistant burning. Okay, so we've got cure, which we don't need to do, I don't think, right? I can't do overpower. Weapon set is disarmed. Did he disarm me? Cineros is now disarmed. Interesting. I wonder if there's anything I can do about that. Okay, well, we need to take out this guy. Slash. Let's go slash. I can't even attack him, like, barehanded? I guess I didn't select that skill, eh? If I move away, I'm going to take an attack of opportunity. I think if I... If I attack from melee... I will take an attack of opportunity. That's why that's red. Okay. Let's do Frighten. Minus 10 morale. I didn't even do anything against them. Okay. So... I'm going to take the attack of opportunity on Bestia. Has some armor, right? Or is that focus? That's focus. Let's make a bleed. This is all too easy. And then we can actually heal. Here. On Not you. that I need any help, but please follow my finger. Very cool. Yes, you'll be all right. And then we can move here into cover. And now this guy can't uh, attack of opportunity us. So we can move away. OK. 
could move here. Oh, I just have to move away, shoot, and then maybe move over to here. Let's move here. Um... That guy's gonna bleed out though, right? Minus two, no, he's not. Okay, let's do game shot. We're gonna get our action back. Oh no, they're they're not they're not totally down. Okay, we're gonna move up to here then. And then we can move uh, back into cover. already done your movement and he can get closer yeah we're gonna move back to here okay that's good Legionari, stain the ground with the blood of your enemies. oof flame arrow glancing blow be fine. Come on. Medicus is patching people up. Ooh, resistant burning. Okay, nice. Cannot see target. So if I move here. Do Barbero. Action restored, good. So we can do this now. So two two more hits. Seems good. Okay. Knockdown. I think I might do knockdown on 100% or 95% chance. Let's do knockdown on this guy. Move up. Be nice to do a slash. Let's do defensive. A glancing blow. Okay. And I think I can attack him from here. Oh no, I don't have that range thing anymore. That's right. That's so it's so useful. So I guess it makes more sense to maybe treat the wounds. Yeah, let's do that. Help me, and I shall help you when you are in need. It's all right. You're going to live. Then we'll move back into cover. Bestia still has their move. We can actually move over to here. Try to take this guy out. Not gonna, not gonna kill them though. Plus percent damage if the target is bleeding. I don't believe they are though. Let's do that. So mobile. Another glancing blow. Okay. Oh no. Ouch. Nice. I only got one shot off there with her. I guess because this one was in cover. Okay. I'm gonna move back here and heal myself. Oh, uh, Soothe Pain. Oh, can't target self. Good to know. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna wait on that turn then.
Let's just uh, take this guy out. Or hold on. Thrust this guy. Oh, four to five. No, no, no. We want to use one, two first. Get rid of that armor. Then the bleed. I could move around to do the slashing. I think I'll take the attack of opportunity. Deflected. And then we can do the slash because I think I'm going to hit the down guy as well. Yeah! That's how we do it. And then I'll move back um, to get in this guy's face. What's going on? Look at his. He's got the Jimmy leg. I'm just going to get in this guy's face so he has to attack me. Uh, or or take an attack of opportunity. Uh, and I guess we'll just... <laughs> I'll just go behind them and shoot them? <laughs> I don't know. Let's do the bleeding one. So, yeah, maybe they'll die next turn. I still have an action with him. Probably best thing to do is to uh, soothe pain on Bestia. Or just stay in cover, maybe. Let's move here and we'll just use uh, logistics. Wait, can I soothe pain? Cannot see target. OK, we use logistics. And just uh, prevent from taking any more damage. Oh, the same maneuver as me. He's down! Just lie down and rest my eyes. He's down! Okay. Well, we can take... She can take him down, right? Oh, these guys are just, like, walking around. <laughs> like nothing's going on. Let's look at aim shot. And then we could just move up. Get ready for the next turn. Now, can I apply a bandage to him? Stabilize target. It's all about they learning how to play anyways, right? Help, Stopped bleeding out. OK, cool. I am going to Let's do maximum damage, I think. But I'm going to knock him back, actually. Because then he can get in there without taking an attack of opportunity. Cool. Oh, and we still, it doesn't count as an action. That's right, because it's a bandage. I forgot about that. Um, But there's nothing else I can do, right? So I'll just get, get in this guy's grill. Ah, you attacked the wrong guy, my friend. And now it's time for you to die. Good work. Victory achieved! Equipment. Hope it serves you well at Matilene. So we can keep the equipment now. And I guess if I'm understanding correctly, every time I go back to camp, I get I get that stuff back. Did Garwius finish with you? Very good. There's always more to learn. 
if we live long enough to do so. We shall march through this pass and descend on Matilene. Providing you did your job well, they should be expecting an attack from the sea, allowing us to surprise them from the land. But they have no... They have no fleet. Why don't you attack him from sea? <laughs> it is not dangerous to march the troops through a narrow pass. Unlikely, since no one knows we are coming. Uh, Still, he has a point, Legate. Perhaps we should post sentries. It will only slow us down. The longer we take, the more we risk that the enemy learns of our plans. Now let's get going. Signal the Legion to assemble. This is not a good plan. You have really made a name for yourself in a short time, my friend. Perhaps you would permit me to join your speculatoris. With your skill in combat and my strategic mind, as long as we are together, we will ambush. I mean, pretty obvious that we're going to get ambushed. <laughs> Battle formation! Get back Whoa. in formation, you fools! Marcus Minutius Thermus. Why, you seem to have no command of your soldiers at all. This is the problem with you, Romans. Politicians have no place in war. Oh, shit. It's gonna take him down? We're in charge we now. Alive. We have no need for prisoners. The Legatus is still alive. His Praetorian Guard is holding off the enemy for now. Let's get him out of there. Form up and push forward. Uh, you, Thermos, and all your companions must survive. Use the bandage item to keep everyone alive. Get to Thermos and save him. Save Thermos within four rounds. And he's over here. So we're going to need to go straight to him, I believe. Uh, looks like we have uh, a heavy there to block these guys. So let's go ahead and uh, shift everyone over. Try to clear the way. Barbed arrow on this guy. A crit! A palpable crit! Good. Um, is there a place where I can get some cover? From arrow fire. I think I'm going to head this way. With the archer. Oh, I have another action. Oh, my bad. I didn't notice that. Can I hit them? That would be nice. I could move up and try to shoot them. Or maybe I should just move up. Nah, let's let's shoot. Um, I guess if I can shoot them, they can shoot me, right? So if there's a place I can move where they can't. You know what? I'm going to move here. Actually, I'll wait. I'll wait. I'll wait to see how this plays out. So, I, it, uh, since I'm like just starting out of the game, I'm going to be like questioning myself a lot. <laughs> I, can, I can tell. I was like this. I'm like this in every like tactics based game, but that's fine. Okay, bleeding. This guy uh, does have armor. So let's walk over here and we'll do the one, two. Generate some focus also. So that, that cleared the armor out. Let's lacerate now. And harried. So I can't remember. Does someone do extra damage? I think I might have removed. I don't know if I removed that skill or he has it. They do extra damage if the enemy's bleeding. Yeah. Lacerate. Oh, I'm going to take an attack of opportunity. Oh, but I can just move here. That's right. I got to remember I can I can. Oh. Right, but I won't be able to attack him. Maybe I can hit him from here? I don't think so, though. 
shit. Okay, well, we'll brace then. Slam that shield. That was a mistake. So I probably could have killed this guy. So now that we've attacked, I mean, we can move away, but we'll take attacks of opportunity if we do. Oh, I can shoot him. That's right. Yeah, let's take him out. Cool. And then I can move. I'll move back here. I know that I'm not going to get any cover there, but it's far away from the archer. So maybe they're less likely to shoot me. Okay. I think I can flank them. This is cool! With all these companions. I'm really curious to see how the sieges are going to work and also how the legion battles are going to work. I'll hold this area. Just back. Ah, okay. Ouch. This guys, these guys are going to get torn apart. I'm going to have to deal with everybody. I think it's still smart to go for the objective, though, first. Nice. Attack of opportunity. That was the wrong one to attack. Oh, God. This is, this is crazy. Well, uh, do I have that uh, throwable item? I do. Range six hexes. I wonder if I can throw it up. Let me try. I'm going to move behind this person. I can. Oh, cool. I'm going to take an attack of opportunity. Okay. Let's wait for a second. But it doesn't take an action also, so that's I could Enemy reinforces in one turn. So I could I wonder if I can attack and then throw it. Let's see. We're still learning, right? I can. Sweet. Nice. So then I'm going to move to here. Seven to eight. Guaranteed kill. Oh. Unless... So, okay. Maybe it was a glancing blow. That's too bad. They're gonna get another chance to attack. I could heal this guy. You are mostly fine. Get back into the fight. Freaking out too, though. Not gonna be able to make it to the archer. That's really bad. I was depending on uh, killing them. I maybe should have done the Overwatch. Do they have any archers? No, they're all spearmen. They can move four. Uh, but then they have, an, they have a range too, right? One, two, three, four. So if I move to like here-ish, I'll probably be good. Oh, 
I have bandages too. But I can't move. Oh, they're bleeding. Oh, I should have stopped the bleeding. I didn't realize that. Oh, we have an archer there too. Good. Archers seem really strong in this. Just me. Maybe they're strong early, but they get weaker later. It's too much. It's too much. Also, I guess they're pretty straightforward. Oh, you can jump down. I didn't even think of that. That's badass. Haha! -ha, why would you attack them? Okay, we're getting we're getting flanked here. Getting surrounded. Wait, where did you come from? Oh shit. Let us begin. Oh shit, we need to get there and run. <laughs> Uh, I don't think we can take on all these guys, right? And I don't think this... I don't think this encounter is designed to be... <laughs> designed to be, uh... We just have to survive, right? We're not supposed to be killing everyone. So, you need to run and save Thermos. Already stabilized. Oh, shit. Take these traitors! Thank goodness you're here! Can you get us out of this fine mess? Our people are getting massacred! We need to fall back and get Dermis to safety! Our best chance is to push back where we came from. Then we can join up with the rest of the Legion. Oh, uh, we need to make it through the... Uh, <laughs> through the reinforcements. Thermos has taken some damage. Do you remember to bring bandages? If you have your bandages equipped and they have any charges left, you might use one now to restore some of the injured Legatus' health. Cineros also has a special unarmed skill called Soothe Pain that lets him restore a little bit of an ally's health. In case you're out of bandages, that might be a good reason to leave one of his hands empty in his secondary weapon set. Secondary weapon set? There's a secondary weapon set? <laughs> okay. Uh, bandage... One of 29, okay. Does this hurt? Good, that means you're fine. Music's getting intense. Um, I also have, oh no, that's, that's, that's not me. I have bandages too. I wouldn't mind bandaging Cineros. So let's get him. Oh shit, the attack of opportunity though. He's already gone, right? Yeah, okay. This is still the same turn. We're gonna run back. Oh, I should have gone there to, uh, no, I don't have, I don't have a, forget it. I don't have a, I don't have a turn. Are those charges? Use per turn. I'm trying to remember what the red, what the dots are. You guys can let me know in the comment section. I'm not sure if it's movement or if it's number of charges. It says zero here. But I think that might be number of charges since one's gone from each and we've used them both once. That makes sense to me. Okay, so we need to clear a way to here. Uh, probably smartest, our best bet is to go this way because there's all these enemies here. So let's knock down this guy. And also her being here now is not the best situation. 
Hopefully we can, yeah, we can jump down though if we need to. We can have him um, brace. No archers. One archer, sorry. And we have another action too. So we'll hunker down. You will brace. And create like a defensive shield around our other allies. This guy, focus. So if I can get two more focus, I can use the other skill. So let's do this. We have to make sure he gets out alive too, eh? Oh, I'm actually con oh, I'm controlling him. Okay. That's good. What does he have? Taunt. Force an enemy to attack the taunting character at the start of their turn. That's a really good skill to have. Brace. Repair. Remove shield broken. Removes exposed from self. Removes sundered. Slash. We're used to. Overpower. Deals maximum damage but cannot make a critical hit. And lunge. Add your critical damage to the attack. Not count as a critical hit. Let's do this. Add your critical damage to the attack. Already including the damage above. So we're not going to be able to kill him, I guess. We'll just do that. And so I think this has three uses per, per battle, I guess. Okay. They're still holding off. Nice. Oh, yeah, doing work. Yeah, I'm going to need you to hold them off over there. Good, the archer's going for them. Oof, that's nasty. Oh, here comes the reinforcements. And in two more turns, there's more enemy reinforcements. All you have to do is make it there, though. I've got to remember that it's not we don't have to kill anyone. So if I could knock someone down, that would be ideal. Also, they just, I mean, they don't have a lot of health either, so maybe killing them is the best bet. Uh, I can't control them. jump down. Oh, and we still gonna be able to shoot them? I wasn't paying attention. Yeah. Perfect. So we're going to keep moving ahead. Um, this would be a good time to use logistics. One, two, no. One, two, three. One, two, three. 
Let's move more people up. Although, I would be nice if they had logistics on them. <laughs> we should be able to get, get away next turn, though. Eh? I don't think I have to think too hard about this. She still has another action. One, two, three. One, two, three. So let's move here. We'll use logistics. Here pretty much hits everyone. I think I have her run. Question is, what should I do with him? Uh, probably tank. We'll move back one. We'll just defend again. I'm not sure if that's worth doing. I'm just selecting it because it's the only thing I really can do. <laughs> but I think we're at max, right? So it's not actually doing anything. Ah, making the little run around. No! Oh, God. Good. Go for him. Nice. Should be fine. These the guys we are beating up. There's more! So I can do shield push on this guy. And run! Wait, do I only have to get one there or do all of them have to get there? We're about to find out. They all have to get there. Shit. <laughs> They're low health! But we have another bandage, don't we? Yeah. Oh, but I can't get there. That would suck if they went, but they're not gonna, they still have to bleed out, right? Let's take this one out. Guarantee kill. Just run. Okay. Should be good to go. These guys can't make it to us. Maybe we'll, they'll get one arrow shot off on us, but it's going to be from range anyways. I think the AI is kind of uh, programmed to go after quiet. I'm here now. the other enemies rather than focus on us. Or they are our allies. We'll face them together. Follow me. Oh, it says three of six ready to flee. I'm liking that there's different types of missions too. It actually is kind of the the uh, mission types are kind of like uh, XCOM.
victory achieved! Items used. One of those and uh, two of the bandages. 